prosecution has expressed concern over attempts by the Kenyan parliament to withdraw from the Rome Statute. And while it has been said that this move will not affect the Kenyan cases currently at the ICC, it appears that there may be some effect after all, as Samogina now reports. Thank you very much, close officer. The prosecution wants a discreet trial of Deputy President William Ruto and Joshua Sang. They are as bad as you. They think like you. Are... The office of the prosecutor put Parliament on the spot at the ICC, claiming its resolution to withdraw the country from the Rome Statute is psychologically intimidating its witnesses. This forms part of a larger culture of intimidation, which is being fostered not only by certain quarters of Kenyan society, but also now it seems has reached the highest echelons of Kenyan authorities. The parliamentary answered proving that the motion was approved both in the National Assembly and the Senate were produced in court. The prosecution claims witness attrition has increased, but Ruto's defense rebuffed the claims as diversionary tactics to conceal what they claim as a shoddy prosecution case. One of them indicated <coughs> A concern that if Kenya did in fact go through and if this law was passed, that he would be living in a pariah state in which international law did not apply and he would therefore have no protection. A, a complete 180 degree turn needs to be had away from the presumption of openness towards a presumption of secrecy which is singularly without merit and actually has a, a massive capacity to cause serious and irredeemable prejudice to the defense. Setting exposure of its witness identities by individuals and bloggers in Kenya, the prosecution says Parliament's move compounds the risk. They want the trials to be held in secrecy. Exposure of the identity of witnesses and the developments in the Kenyan Parliament. These are matters that affect all witnesses residing in Kenya. Many of the prosecution witnesses are already uh, outside of Kenya. Ocampo said that even prior to confirmation. He said, I've got no witnesses in Kenya. So what could the possible danger be? The prosecution charged that Kenya's commitment to the ICC is on trial. This prompted a swift defense by the deputy president, who is himself a suspect undergoing the trial at the ICC. It remains to be seen the extent to which that cooperation is actually provided. Uh, and uh, we have reason to believe that in the near future that cooperation will be tested. The fact that I am here and the fact that a democratically elected deputy president of the Republic of Kenya is here is a confirmation that Kenya Belong, believes in the rule of law and belongs to the community of nations that are civilized. The adversarial stance between the defense and the prosecution went a notch higher. In the present circumstances, we submit that the chamber, chamber should lean in favor of granting in court protective measures for all witnesses. We say amounts to a license to lie because those witnesses are concerned of two things in my respectful submission. One is They'll be found out and prosecuted. The ICC judges will decide whether Parliament's resolution will influence the decision to conduct the trial in private sessions to protect the identities of all critical prosecution witnesses. Samogina Ketian.